and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm riding the aerial rider grizzly I haven't ridden it in a while if you've watched any of my videos lately on the channel it's been my buddy uh, Keith who's been riding it a fair bit so I thought you know I'm gonna take it out for a spin here today on this video and uh, some debris there on the road it looks like there was an accident right there some glass and stuff this bike definitely has a different feel than the Lyric Graffiti that I'm used to riding lately you can feel the uh, the power of that rear motor the torque I have the uh, batteries fully charged it's funny when I first got on the bike here to go for the ride I'm turning it on and everything getting it set the batteries and all and I'm thinking wait a minute it took me a second to figure out what I'm doing because I haven't ridden it in a while and I don't know if you uh, have multiple uh, bikes and you go from riding one to riding another that you haven't ridden in a while it takes you a minute to kind of get comfortable again So this is just like a cruising around ride. On the Grizzly. Right now I'm just using the rear uh, motor. And if you're familiar with my riding, On this bike I normally ride with just the rear motor and the only time I use the the only time I use both motors would be when I'm hill climbing or need that quick acceleration to get out of a situation like a intersection or something like that especially a wide inter intersection <clears throat> but uh Even just using the rear motor, boy, the, you can feel that torque. It definitely has a lot more torque than my Lyric Graffiti, I'll give you that for sure. You can feel that when you hit that throttle. Admit, it feels pretty good to ride the Grizzly after not riding it for a while. It's different. Not a whole lot is different from when I first purchased this bike. The only things that are different are there's new controllers on there because the controllers went bad, we'll just say. And the other thing that I had to replace was the tires because I wore them out, basically. 
and it's kind of funny because both happened at the same time. Uh, like I, at the time the uh, controllers were needing replaced by uh, by Aerial Rider because they were still under warranty. I also changed up the tires at the same time and got E Huntsman from V Moto. And I'm starting to see a few bikes with these tires on there. Like, uh, I mean, uh, as the uh, tires when you first buy the bike. And that's good. Because I think these tires are going to last a while. That's what I like about them. They're good for on-road or off-road. And they've got lots of tread. And thick tires, they're heavy. They weigh quite a bit. A lot heavier than the uh, tires that were originally on the bike that's for sure the stock tires and so uh yeah i like them sometimes you don't even need both motors to get out of an intersection this thing picks up speed pretty quickly um whether you use front motor or not but the front motor's there if you needed that second kick. I'm gonna go down the street. I came out with 100% battery, it says 99% now. Of course, I'm using both batteries at the same time. As this bike draws equally from uh, each battery. One battery though, kind of weird because one battery is 20 amp and amp hour and one of them is 15. They should have both been 20. Of course, I'm going to say they both should be 20 as opposed to 15. Bigger is better. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.